a newly opened node. Omnigen. This node supports three picture references. Then generate the image. Keep the characters consistent. For example, if you want to generate a picture of these two characters, he can keep the characteristics of the character. Hairstyle, face, clothes, body shape, etc. are basically kept perfect. Currently, the node that maintains the strongest character consistency is Omnijan. Here is a simple control of heads. This is Wola default. It is generated like this. The effect is perfect. Of course, what's wrong with this hand? This card draw can be solved by generating it a few more times. But if he generates, his face may not look very similar. This also very simple here. Use a node to change a face. A node can only change one face at a time. So you can swap the two faces by doing it twice. Finally, you can perfectly replace this face. This is the order of face changing. So this can be controlled. This order. From left to right or 1 to 3, 4. The left side is all. The right side is 1. To the right is 3. Here is a detailed introduction. A rule setting for this face changing. If you are not satisfied, you can continue to generate. I will disable the following first and let him generate another one. This is the node with the best character consistency at present. Installation is also very simple. Just open this node page. Like his collection. This is one of his node introductions. Installation is simple. Basically download his installation package. We'll copy this link and install it in Confiwe. When running, it will download the model itself. And the one below is me asking him. Use a product to replace the picture. It can also be perfectly generated. Of course, uh, this effect won't be very similar. Probably, in the end, this person's face. Use this node to switch back. This is a perfect way to achieve character consistency. There is a small key point in the operation here. This is not the title 123. This image corresponds to 1. This corresponds to 2. Therefore, this reminder must be added to the prompt, which is consistent with the product's prompt, just added after his product tabs. In this way, he can use this image accurately as a reference. Figure to use the graph and figure tool to refer to this product. I have also explained this in detail here. There are only three images to refer to. The corresponding 123 prompts. Just add it to the prompt word. The same is true for the above. This is two people hugging each other. An image underscore one like this. Just have this reminder. It won't work without this reminder, because this tape is a reference for the first and second pictures. This way he can accurately put these two references together. For example, it is generated like His this. His face is basically not like. So at this time, although the clothes, the hairstyle and eyes are basically perfect, they are basically the same replicas. The character consistency is very strong anyway. Then use this to replace his face. First, switch left. This is counting from left to right one. Change his face first. Switch to the left first. Switch to the right side. In the end, every face in every picture was replaced. Through these two nodes, the two faces can be replaced. Finally, this effect is achieved. 
This weight is also the now of a phase change. You can fine tune it yourself. If you don't want to deploy locally, if you want to use it directly, you can use my online mirror. I'm using an online mirror. If I can use it, you can use it too. Click to open the latest image of Duana Cloud. Open it and I am now. Update to the latest version. Open it and it's me now. This is just one of the workflows here. Character consistency on the gen workflow. Of course, I have a lot of workflows here. You can use. No deployment required. Direct, ready to use. You don't have to worry about model installation, etc. As long as you see I can use. You can also use. Because the image is exactly the same. If you want to deploy locally, can view my notes. Open my notes. Click on Configure Tutorial. We will jump to this place in the workflow. Click on the image category. The first one is character consistency on the job. Click on the pen to see the introduction of the node. A screenshot of the basic functionality. Screenshots of the demo. Then the workflow downloads. This is suitable for people who deploy locally. This character maintains perfect consistency. If you use iPad up there, it seems that it is not perfect. For example, his dress, face. Wait, this is good. Anyway, he can directly migrate all of them. Perfectly solves the problem of character consistency. This is my test below. Let it be combined with the product. It also maintains perfect consistency. Of course, the difficulty lies in maintaining product consistency. Still too high. In fact, I generated about 10 pictures. The product is not so perfect. There's no way around this, because the product is different from the person in terms of the coding characteristics. Here is more complicated, and it's even harder to control. So the product is currently. Maintaining consistency is difficult. However, character consistency has basically been resolved at this point. The clothes are basically the same. Eyes, same. Hairstyles, clothes, etc. Remember to add this when using. Because he has three names. If you don't add this, he doesn't know which reference picture he should refer to for this character. Okay, let's go play.